thief, he claimed that he is the better than us when the fact he himself is a thief and all those countries is not your countries, not even one of them. Iraq, not your country, Egypt, not your country, Syria, not your country, Lebanon, not your country, uh, you, you, uh, Israel, you took Israel and you call it uh, Palestine, not your country, even Palestine is not country if it's called Palestine. Jordan, not your country, even Saudi Arabia is not your country. So look how they how they lie and they try to fabricate things upside down. They take your home and they rape your women and then they claim that the land is their land. The same as they do today with Israel. Even your Yellow Pages book, the Holy Yellow Pages Quran, saying that Israel is the land of the Jews. If we go in the Quran, we will not find a single place where Allah He says the land is not the land of the Jews. In chapter 5, verse number 21, and you can read many verses before and verses after, you will see that Allah is the one supposedly who ordered the Jews to go and launch a war. You see here. Allah he ordered the Jews supposedly according to the Quran to go and attack that land and take it because Allah he has assigned that land for you hmm? Allah is the one who assigned the land which is Israel to the Israeli and then when the Jews refused to kill who live there and supposedly they are the Palestinian Allah he cursed them and he made them lose their way for 40 years as we see in verse number 26 because they refused to go and slaughter those who live in that land but in the propaganda today you will see every scumbag in the world saying the occupation of israel when the fact if you want to blame somebody for the occupation of israel blame allah yes abdul What's up, dude? Hmm. You want to speak to me as a man, or I will hang up on you. And I warn you, if you want to insult me, if you want to insult me as usual, I'm going to insult your prophet. So I'm just giving you a warning. So I'm gonna give you a warning too, because you're 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 cursing the prophet. You're cursing Allah. I don't care. You are calling me. I'm not calling you. If you don't, if you cannot handle it, don't call me. <laughs> it's up to you. You insult me, I will insult your prophet harshly. So uh, okay. Go ahead. Go the, 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 the warning is delivered. Now, uh, why Allah, he promised the Jews to go and take the land, which is called the Holy Land, Israel. Do you have an answer Holy for that? Israel. Hmm. Israel, Israel, Israel. What is Israel? Explain. I don't know. Ask, ask Allah. Ask Allah here. here Allah, he says to the, to the Jews, oh, 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 people, go and attack. The land, the holy land, which Allah assigned to you. You tell me where is the holy land, which Allah assigned to you. Is that Mecca? Uh, the holy land uh, hmm. was uh, is Israel, Jerusalem, and the holy land is Mecca, Medina. Okay, hmm. Hmm. those so, are all holy lands. You get it? Hmm. So Allah, uh, Allah ordered the Jews so to at take the time Mecca. When, when at the time when Islam came as a religion to the Arab, Arab world, hmm. that, at that time after Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, hmm. and when Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came as a prophet. To the to the to those mushrikeens in Mecca, mushrikeen in Mecca at that time. Mm. So after that, when Islam grew and you know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he did Hijrah to Medina, and Muhammad Sallallahu went. You know, after that, you know all the fights and everything, all the jihad. I don't know if you are listening to my question, my friend. You are talking about things I did not ask you. I'm gonna ask. So after that, all those Jews and Christians they accepted Islam. Most of them, most of them didn't accept. Most Islam. of them. Mm. Yeah, mm. most of them accepted Islam. Mm -hmm. And and the Bible that you have now is. Not the Bible that that was there at the time of Muhammad peace be upon him. Mm. So you get it? Mm. I got it. So why your prophet he okay. swear? Why your prophet he, so he swear by the Bible? At that time, the Bible, the Bible was a real Bible. The Bible. So Bible in the time of Muhammad, saying. so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was real. It was a it was word of God. Yeah, of course. Okay, that so that's mean. What is the need of Muhammad to come if the people are not corrupt and still they are following the the, the true Bible? Then. Okay, listen. People at that time they were not uh, they were not following uh, they were not following the teaching of uh, Torah and uh, like what and the Bible okay. like what are you following the teaching of the Torah? I am I am listen. Okay, so do, do you do you respect the Sabbath? Isn't that your faith? Isn't that your faith that uh, that 
as as it said, as it stated in your Bible, mm. that the Lord of the Lord of uh, the Lord of um, Israel and the Lord of mine, said so Jesus is mine is one Lord. Okay, mm. is that your faith, right? Mm. And you get it, right? Mm. So if you if Jesus is saying that my my Lord and the Lord of Israel is one, what does that mean? Is that make Jesus a God or prophet? Mm. You see, you are jumping like a monkey from place to place. When Jesus, no, no, he said, I'm not, I'm not. "You don't." Okay, okay, okay no problem, no problem. You are trying to divert. I ask you about Jerusalem, uh, about the Jews being ordered to go and take Israel, and look, look where you end. Now, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Okay, are you Let's going go. to let me talk, or you want to scream and shout and go jump? Ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Jesus, you know, when we, when we, when Jesus speak, you don't take. We don't take a sentence. And we say Jesus said this only. You have to take what he said before and what he take after. So, do you accept what is mentioned in that chapter, all of it, or you accept only that sentence? I only accept that sentence. Well, who who are you to accept this sentence only? So either you, so but, then that's mean you are a hypocrite. That's mean you are a hypocrite. So I can show you now in the Quran it says <laughs> I can show you right now in the Quran. The Quran says don't so pray. Who are you to accept? I can show you. I can show you. You see, you are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite kid. You have no <laughs> dignity and you have no honor. Either you say I accept what Jesus says in that book, or you say I accept only a sentence, and this is the only sentence. This the Quran says to you, uh, and then I can stop. Can I say that sentence only? If the Quran says don't pray? No, you, can, you have to read the whole sentence. Here we go. So you have to read the whole thing. So when you want, you have to read the whole thing. When you want, you don't have to read the whole thing. So you are a hypocrite, and that's why we call you hypocrite. And every Muslim is a hypocrite. So and he proved the opposite. Hypocrite. First explain hypocrite. What is a hypocrite? Hypocrite is a, is a, somebody is a Muslim. He go and he pray in the corner, as Jesus said. Don't be the same as those who pray in the corners. This is what the Muslims do. Don't when you when you when you fast when you fast, you know don't show that you are fasting. This is what the Muslim do. The Muslim if he if he fast and by the way there is no fasting in Islam. It's a joke. He have to tell everybody he's fasting. If he want to pray, hey, brothers, I have to go and pray. He go to the corner. He open the windows of his house and he go to the balcony to pray. So everybody, all the neighbors will see him that praying. And not only that, sometimes even you will see a taxi driver going in the top of his car. So everybody in the neighborhood will see that Muhammad Abdul is a praying. Allahu Akbar. Islam, Allahu Akbar. Islam is a hypocrisy, and your prophet is a hypocrite, and we can prove it. Did your prophet he order the Muslims not to have sex with their wives when they have, or not to get close to them when they have their period? Of course, Islam Islam prohibits. Uh, okay. You know. So what what your prophet what your what your prophet he used to do when his wives are in period? Okay. So. According to our the Sunnah of Muhammad mm. okay, mm. Muhammad used to, uh, he used to get closer, but he now used to have sex with them. You get it? He what? He used to, he used to kiss them. Mm. He, he could kiss them, but he could not have sex with them. Mm. Uh, what do you mean, kiss yeah. them? He do he he play with them? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, he play with them. What does that mean? Do he put his penis between their their legs? No. That's that's sex. Okay. What if, it, what, what do you be, do you accept the challenge if I show you? If I show you that your prophet you, used to do that. Challenging you with first. first <laughs> explain, explain, See explain, here we go. You're a coward. You're a potato. You're a potato. Okay. Explain. Let us go back to our topic. Why Allah okay. He ordered the Jews to take the land of Israel, and why He said this is land assigned to you. This is the question okay. I ask you from the first second this you call me, so which and, is you, the and, you ref, and you refuse to answer. So you switch the topic you upside down. Quran, which uh, which eye of the Quran is this? You do not know. No, go 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 and let me know. No, no, I'm so asking you. Go. You do not know. You never heard this before. No, I heard it. I heard this, but you have to tell the chapter and the ayah. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I, I I'm trying to remember. I do not know really. Hmm. Do you want to search Google? No, it's not Google. Go. Do you want to call a friend? It's not a friend. Go tell me about uh, tell me the surah and the ayah. You are the Muslim, and I am not the Muslim, and you are the one who never heard this before. Obviously, otherwise you I would know heard. it. Of course, I have heard. Okay, this what chapter? What chapter? Do you know at least what chapter? I'm asking you. So you do not know what chapter. Asked, you do not know what verse. You know nothing. Me, so I have to go ahead and uh, check what it is. Hmm. Maybe I mean uh, maybe this is the eighth hadith. There you go. Go hmm. ahead. Chapter five, verse number twenty-one. Chapter five. So okay. Chapter five, Surah Al Ma'adda. Okay. <clears throat> so now, just to know the background of Revelation and summaries of subject. Okay. Mm, background. This initial Surah, I like surah the Al Ma'adda is agreed okay. upon. Surah Al Ma'adda is a Madani Surah. Okay. <laughs> and also the last <laughs> long of all Medina chapter Surah was Surah so much so that some some elders have identified this 
as the last surah of the Quran itself. Okay? And the authority of narrations of from Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar and Sayyidina Al Ma'ida is the last chapter in the Quran? Yeah. That's mm. what most of the scholars they agree, agree upon on this. Oh, okay. Well, I will, I will, a, I will, I will take your word for it. Surah Al Ma'ida was revealed to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu while traveling, riding the she camel named Ab mm. uh, Adaba. As explained in the introduction of Tafsir in Volume 1. You see, there, guys, this guy, he's, he's reading an article. He is reading an article. I mean, I ask you it's about not, the verse. Why are you going it's to give me all this garbage, man? That, Stop it's doing it's garbage. It's give me the answer. I don't it's care it's about it's anything. First, Why are you understanding? Hit the topic and stop. Who care about where this verse is given? And if this is the last no, verse in the Quran or the, the first... I don't care said, said, why said, Allah he ordered the Jews to go and kill the Palestinian and take their land. This is the question. Go ahead. Well, surah, uh, surah, surah of uh, al Maida and verse number five, right? Is it? <laughs> Stop laughing. Stop being. If you mm. if you don't want to listen to the background of the surah, mm. okay, mm. and you're trying to go ahead and uh, scream like a donkey. Mm. So what's the what's the matter? Of, Did you say uh, a donkey to me? I... Did you say a donkey? <laughs> Did I say to you, if you insult me, I will insult your prophet or not? Did I give you a warning? Okay, sorry about okay. that. Okay, did your but prophet marry a woman? Her last name is Donkey, yes or no? Okay, read. Uh, no, no, no. This, did uh, your prophet marry a woman? Her last name is Donkey, yes or no? Listen. Did your prophet that his last name himself is a dog, yes or no? You want to you want to read the ayah? Or See here we go. So don't talk, call me names. I mean, your prophet is a son of a donkey. So the son of a dog, and his wife she is a, son, a daughter of a donkey. And yet you call me do donkey and dog. Don't go there. You have a house made from a glass. Your prophet is a son of a zoo. Now go and answer the, the verse. Why Allah He order the Jews to go and take the land which is called assigned into you, which is the holy land. Go ahead. Which ayah is this? Here we go. Yeah, I'm asking you that. I yeah. told you, chapter 5, verse number 21. 21, okay. Oh, people, oh, my people, enter the holy land which Allah has destined for you and do not turn back, for then you, you, you will turn losers. Okay. <clears throat> The saying of Sayyid, this is the saying of Sayyidina Musa salam, in the first 20, 20 verse, which has an introductory remark to the divine command which appears in the following verse 21 in the word, in the words, O oh, my people, enter the holy land which Allah has destined for you. Which is the holy land? Apparently, commentators differ among, about it. Some say, Are you going to read for me an article? Us? Are you going to read for me an article? Stop reading Google, man. Give it's me the an answer. You can an read. Um, you um, can read. Everybody can tell you. Are you an article? Be a man and tell me. Give, give me. Give, give me the cream of of the cook. What is what is the answer? You can read by your this, on your in your this, eyes in your this, heart. This was, give me the was answer. The time of Musa, uh -huh. Okay. Well, you are very okay. smart, guys. He is very smart. This is in the time of Musa. For sure, it is Musa who said to them that Allah told him. We know yeah, that. Allah told them. Okay. okay. You are saying, why did Allah tell him? You are asking this question. Yeah, why he ordered them to go and kill the Palestinian? Whoever lived there, supposedly the Palestinian, right? Allah, he ordered the Jews to go and slaughter the Palestinian. Why? Palestinians now? You are talking about nowadays. So the, you're not you, talking you, about back then. You got, you got to go back. My friend, my friend, my friend. It about. doesn't. It doesn't matter. This is a land Allah it He assigned to them. No, it doesn't matter. What a change! What a change! What a change! It's the same it people. Allah it's He assigned this land. Okay, show me. My uh, hold on. It, when Allah He said, "Is it make a difference between if if Palestine at that time and Palestine at this time? They are a human being and they are called Palestinian. Why we can kill them at that time, but we cannot kill them at this time? Explain to us." Listen, Palestinian. At that time, there were not Palestinians there. Before there, there was Jews. Ah, okay. and, there was no Palestinian at that. So who are who are, who is the one? So it's not Hamas was not there. I agree with you. Those are Arab. Those are not Palestinian. So who is the one was living there? Who was the one living there? Those are Jews. The, the Jews attacking the Jews. The Jews? So, the Jews so Allah, He ordered the Jews to go and kill the Jews. Are you talking about? Are you this, saying this is the time of Musa? I know Allah, He ordered Musa to go and attack the land and uh, launch jihad on it and take it. Who is the people who live there and why He want to kill them? Why Allah ordered him to go and kill them? Those, those people are idolaters, they didn't worship Allah. Over okay, there. 
So, so, if, took so, his, so if if they don't own Jews, okay, Musa Salam took his own Jews back back into the those were the Muslims at that time, okay. Musa Salam took his. They are Jews or Muslims? They are Jews or Muslims? Those were Muslims. Muslims. So why the Quran now, called them they, Jews? Why the Quran they, called them Jews? Why are the they, Quran, what, why what, the what Quran called them Jews if they are Muslims? So we call them Jews because what what happened to them was they they they. Uh, they associated partner with Allah Jalla ah, okay. but, but he, but during the time of Musa, like during the time of Musa, they are called Jews said, still in the time. You are like a machine. The, okay. During the time of Musa, Allah he called them Jews. Okay. Okay. Allah, so so he they are their name is called Jews even when they are with Musa. So how you say to me because this they start associating with somebody else, Allah called them Jews. This is a false ar argument. And by the way, there's a guy, his name is Mimi Hijab. I don't know if you know him. He said that the Jews for 4,000 years, they never associate anyone with, with, the, with, with, the, with the only true God for 4,000 years since the time of Musa. So are you saying he's a liar? I didn't get that. Go, go again. I there's a listen. guy, his name is Muhammad Hijab. He was debating yeah. a guy. His name is David Wood. And you can okay. watch the video. He said that the Jews for four thousand years, four thousand years, they've been instructed, okay. instructed. This is how he said it. I'm just trying to copy the the, the Islamic way. So for four thousand years, they are instructed to worship one God only and no one except God. So how you say to me that the Jews they associate with God, other God? If you're a brother, Muhammad Hijab, he says for four thousand years they never you know, were associated you know anyone. The history behind Jews, right? Jews, they were first. Uh, so Jews, the first they were under the they were, they were under the uh, ruling of King Pharaoh, if you know that, right? King Jews who? At that time. King who? And when Musa al -Salam, King who? Musa al -Salam, king, Pharaoh. Who, uh, Pharaoh. Is, is that the name of the king? Pharaoh. We call him Pharaoh. Okay, what is the name of the king? There's many pharaoh. Which one? We're not, we don't. We don't. We don't mention. Uh, I don't mention the specific name. I'll mention just the pharaoh. Is, is no, Quran the, the fact, the fact, the Quran think that his this is his name. So the Quran says the pharaoh as a name. Not uh, the Quran does not acknowledge that there is many pharaohs. Most, most of the people at that time they will call their own selves pharaoh. Pharaoh. No, uh, only yeah. pharaoh is a king is a title for a king in Egypt. There's no other pharaoh. Don't play games. That's what I'm saying. Okay, those, so those but why the Quran do not do not the know the name of the pharaoh? The Quran think that pharaoh is the name. Now this is not our our topic. Why okay. Allah He ordered the Jews to go and take the land? You say it because they are not worshiping Allah. Is that correct? Of course. At, at, okay. At that so time, you are listen, saying to me. So you are saying to me. So you are saying to me now, Allah. Take, gotta, okay. 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 I will go with you. I will go at with you. Time, okay. I will go with you. At that time. At that time. At that time. I got it. I got it. I will go with you. So according to you, if somebody don't believe in Allah, we have the right to take his land and to slaughter him. No. This is what you say. I said to you, why That's Allah ordered? What do you mean, Allah? He ordered them. I asked you why Allah He ordered them. I asked you why Allah He ordered them to go. He said at that time those people they weren't worshiping Allah, so we can take their land and we can kill them. So go. So you gotta go back to Surah Surah Al Kafirun. What does Allah says says in Surah Al Kafirun? I like Al Kafirun. Are you sure you want to show Al Kafirun? Yeah, go. Go ahead. I I don't know. I don't I don't think I don't think you will like it. Al Kafirun is the most stupid verse proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Look at this. Okay, say, look what Muhammad okay, say says. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So, okay. 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 Mm. That you worship, we don't worship that, okay? Mm. 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 And not you are worshippers of what I worship, mm. okay? Mm. And, and not I am a worshipper of what you worship, mm. get it? Mm. So if you worship Jesus or someone worship an idol, someone worships a son, we don't worship that. We worship who? We worship, you worship a black stone, okay? No. And not you are the worshippers of what I worship, and mm. you are not the worshippers of Allah, so don't worship, don't worship Allah, you worship whatever you want to worship. Mm. Hmm. For you is your religion, and for me is my religion. So follow whatever you want to follow, okay. and let us let, let let us follow what we want to follow. Yeah, but this is a, this is abrogated verse. Why you are quoting for us? So this is when Muhammad was a potato. He don't have an army. 
when he have an army he changed his mind and he said I want to kill you all let me get you but said first of all this chapter proving Muhammad to be a false prophet why because he said I worship not what that you worship but Allah is a, a, a common name between them and both of them they worship the family of Muhammad they worship Allah and Muhammad he worship Allah so how he would say I worship not what you worship isn't it the pagan Arab they worship Allah too they are mushrikeen mushrikeen does not mean they are not worshiping Allah the fact they do worship Allah but they have beside Allah intercession so they have idols little idols like the black stone and they think by kissing it they are getting close to Allah so yes Muhammad and the pagan they worship the same God his name is Allah number two he said I will worship not that which you worship nor you will worship that which I worship and this is a false prophecy because all those who was he talking to they became later Muslims Omar al-Khattab was against him Abu Sufyan was against him many of those who they are uh, had worried was against him so he was saying that to them but later they became believers so he made a false prophecy and then he says and I will not worship that which you worship but the fact we know that in the chapter we're speaking about the satanic verses that Muhammad he bowed down and he worshipped the idols and he said that the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must so yes he did worship what they worship and then he continues saying nor are you will worship which I worship which is proving that Muhammad have nothing to say he's repeating the same sentence again to you you have your way to mine I have mine to you you have your religion I have my religion but let me show you how funny and stupid additional to that this verse imagine I say all those who you reject hummus I eat not what you eat and you will not eat what I do eat and you will never do eat what I eat and I will never do eat what you eat because you will not do eat what I eat I have my hummus you have yours I mean how is stupid the holy chapter to be from God this is cannot be God this is a guy he is having nothing to say all this all the all the chapter is I don't worship what you worship and you have your your, your religion and I have mine so there is no need for all of this it's nothing but garbage proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet and later when Muhammad have an army he decided mm -hmm. to kill everybody from his enemy and he changed his mind so this is abrogated so why you are quoting it for us okay so now you, you the, the cause of this revelation and whatever you are saying it's uh, completely false mm -hmm. and I, we, we Muslim don't agree with whatever you say okay so mm -hmm. now now you have to who are you who revelation. are you to say I don't agree I'm a Muslim you are you are you are a Muslim okay what about we go to the book of Asbab and Nuzul okay we'll go to the cause of revelation okay okay Ibn Ishaq reports from Sayyidah Ibn Abbas the Walid Ibn Mughayra as Ibn Wasil Aswad Ibn Abdul Muttalib and Umayyah Ibn Al-Khalf approached the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi they proposed a compromise to him and they affected that he would worship their idols for a year so at that time the Kafirs they went to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they told them that you should worship all idols for a year mm. okay mm. and they and they worship Allah for a year and they mm. told them that we will worship your Allah for a year mm. so this is from Qurtabi okay mm. according to Ibn Abbas who is recorded in Tabrani the pagans of Mecca proposed to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam peace be upon him mm. we shall give you much wealth that you will become the richest man in Mecca so they told him they will give you wealth and you'll become the rich, richest man of Mecca mm. okay mm. and we shall give you whichever woman you like in marriage and they even told him that whichever woman you like here in Mecca the beautiful woman you like mm. will give, give you in marriage mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. We're willing to follow and obey you as our leader mm. on the condition that you do not speak ill of our gods. So mm. he Muhammad Sallam, they told Muhammad Sallam that you should not speak obey obey us and mm. also do not speak ill of our gods, okay, at mm. that time. Mm. So if you do if you do not agree to this, then let us agree that you worship our gods for a year and we will worship your God for another year. Mm. So this is from mother mother, mm. okay? Right. So did Muhammad is, agree the, with them? Did Muhammad this, agree? This the, did Muhammad agree that he will worship their gods? Okay, we're, we're reading now. Okay, mm. according to Ibn Sa'd report, said in Ibn Abbas, the pagan of Mecca made the following proposal for for, for compromise. Give me, give me an answer. I mean, give me an answer. Did he agree or not? Did he agree? I'm not going to read the whole. Yeah. Did he agree or not? Did he agree or not? Did he agree with them or not? He did not agree. No. Okay. Of read with me, chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. Isn't it Muhammad? He worshipped down. He bowed down, and he worshipped the three daughters of Allah. Chapter what? Did he Muhammad? Did Muhammad? He bowed down, and he worshipped the three daughters of Allah. Okay, chapter what, what chapter is it? Chapter, chapter 22, 22, verse number 52. 22? Mm. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Mm. Omar Sallak and Kabul Nasuli, Malay, the 
Okay. So, and we sent we sent before you before you mm. a messenger and mm. not a prophet, but when he recited through he recited through the shaitan in his recitation. Mm. But Allah abolishes. But Allah abol what? But Allah abolishes what throws the shaitan. Then Allah mm. will establish. Mm. But Allah abolishes his verses, and Allah is all knowing and all wise. Okay, it, it is saying that we did not send any messenger before you, nor a prophet. But he he faced a situation at that at that when he recited the revelation that Satan ca cast doubts about what he recited. Mm. So Allah nullifies what the sa Satan cast. That Allah makes his words firm, and Allah is all knowing and all wise. Okay. Mm. So, so let us let us see what happened. Let us see what happened. Saying. Okay, you quote for me the chapter one nine. 1109 it says that you have your religion I have mine and I will not worship what you worship but what as we see here in chapter 50 22 verse number 52 okay. Muhammad he bowed down to the three idols of Allah the three daughters and he said that uh, the, according to Muslims that shaitan he throw in his mouth and he said the following sentence in his tongue he said these are the mighty grand grants the, the Qurani which means the high flying daughter of Allah their intercession is hoped for and when Quraysh heard this they were very pleased and then the prophet he bowed down and all the pagan with him they bow down so Muhammad again is a false prophet he said I worship not what you worship and you worship not what you were I worship and later we find Muhammad bowing down to the idols of Quraysh and he is not saying only not only bowing down in front of them he is saying their intercession is a must the mic is yours Okay, <clears throat> so I'm I'm going to read you the commentary of uh, this ayah. Okay, mm. I'm reading the commentary in front of you. It's in, in the screen. It's a book as Babu okay. Nuzul. Mm. Okay, so min Rasuli wa Nabiya, any messenger of and any. This shows that a prophet twenty uh, verse uh, chapter twenty two and ayah fifty two. Okay, and and the Nabi carried different word Rasul meanings, meanings though there is no consensus at as the precious nature of difference. Mm. For our purpose, it is enough to understand it, is a person whom Allah Ta'ala, Allah, 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 Allah Nabi, that Nabi de designated with a mission to reform his people and who receives his revelation from him. He may receive a scripture, a code of law, or he may he may be commanded to convey a message of an earlier book. And Ali Salam, code, code of law, laws. Sayyidina Musa belongs to the first to the first Ali Salam and Isa Ali Salam. My friend, are you going category. to read for me a book? Sayyidina I want Ali. an answer. What are you doing? Read for me an answer. No, I'm, I'm reading, I, I'm reading the no, no, you are reading the whole thing, my friend. Come on, give me an answer. Why Muhammad <laughs> he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah? You said to me, the chat of Al Kafirun is coming from Allah, and Allah is the one who's talking. And he said to him, Say Allah he's saying, not Muhammad, that I will not you will not worship what they worship, and they will not worship your worship. But as you see, he did worship what they worship. So Allah Where made a false. That? That go down to the three, uh, it says three in the front of you. Three. It says in the front of you. So the, uh, here we go. It's in the front of you on the screen. And all of them they okay. bow down except the guy. His name is Walid ibn Mughira. He could not bow down because he is so old. So all of them they bow down. All of so them they which, bow down. What, where, what are you reading this from? Though? This is the book of yeah. Asbab and Nuzul. We can read from different book, but because this is in English, I'm, I'm trying to show people. We can read it in Arabic too. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul, and saying it clearly. That Muhammad he worshipped them and he bowed down in front of them and then later is, and later Surah Hajj and Ayah number fifty two you are reading that right yes is, am I correct yes and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan this is not a private website at tafsir.com okay okay so you're a prophet he bowed down to the idols and he worshipped them and he praised the three daughters of Allah which we, because they are very sexy. And he says their intercession is a must. Otherwise, if they are not sexy, why Muhammad saying their intercession is a must? The mic is yours. So you said that he. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Remember, I'm not saying. It's in front of you. I am not saying. He did. I am not saying. This is your Islamic scholars. This is your Islamic history, and this is your Who's statement. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's the name of the scholar? This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, Al Imam Al Wahidi. We can change it if you want. No problem. Okay, go to Maraf al Quran. Go to who? Ma'arif al-Qur'an. Read it for us, no problem. But in the front of us, is, is that is there's a problem with this one? Listen, from my understanding, Ma'arif al-Qur'an is the easier one to, for the people, for the audience to understand. Is it in Arabic? You get it? Is it in Arabic? It's in English. Uh, this is a moderate thing, right? This is like something written a few years ago. I never heard of this one. What is it called? 
معرف القران باي مفتي محمد uh, محمد شفيق وات از مفتي محمد دوز ار سكولرز وات مفتي بتيتو تيميتو جيف مي ذاك النايك تو وات از وات رونج ويز يو ذيس از امام الواحد وي ار توكين اباوت بيبل هو روت سينشريز اند سينشريز اجو ذا ذا فيرست ذا ايلدر اوف اسلام نوت ا بتيتو هو از جوين ان ذا يوتيوب ناو اند ميك اند ميك ان ا فالس انتربريتيشن تراي تو ديفند When you, when, you, when, when you quote for me, you see, how come a second ago you said to me you want to read from Al-Tabari? Did you read from Al-Tabari a second ago? No, I didn't give you from Al-Tabari. No, I no, you, you, from, when you no, go... You I was get, reading from Marif Al-Quran. No, no, no. Before you said to me, you said Al-Tabari. I, I heard you saying the word Al-Tabari. Didn't you say Al-Tabari? Yeah, I did say that. I okay, said the so, so what's wrong it's, with Al-Tabari? Why don't say to me Al-Tabari? Why don't say to me that the, the, the reading scholars? What, what? Who is this guy? So here we go. Yes. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. It's in English in the front of us. Okay. And even the Quran confirmed, the verse you read for me, it says that Allah will take what shaitan he throw in his mouth. So the Quran confirmed that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. What he throw? That the three daughters of Allah, Allah and Al-Uzza, their intercession is a must. And he bow down and they bow down with him. Except one person was there. He could not bow down because simply he is. A very old man, he cannot bow down, and he is a kafir too. So, what, what make... are the names of uh, the three idols that you were talking about? Allah and Al Uzza, here we go. Allah and Al Uzza and Manah the third. When he was okay. quoting that, the devil put in his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said, These are the might grants, the, the, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is hoped for. Who is the one who said that? Allah. Now, okay. you're Muslim saying that this is not Allah saying the devil, he spoke in the mouth of Muhammad. So in this moment, in, yes, this is says, I'm not saying, why you are laughing? Respect your prophet, my friend. It says no, the I'm devil, you, it says, it says, you are just talking out of your mind. it says the devil, it, guys, does it say that or I'm making things? It says the devil, put in his tongue. Does it say that? It's in the screen in front of you. So the devil, he spoke in the tongue of Muhammad. So Muhammad in this moment, he became a messenger of shaitan and he is speaking as an ambassador of shaitan the word of shaitan delivering shaitan's quran and then because shaitan he put in his mouth muhammad he said the following he put those words the uh, the the, the they are the mighty grants the, the gharaniq and their intercession is hoped for when Quraysh heard this they were very pleased those are the pagan the messenger of allah allah bless him give him peace Carry a, 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 a cried on recitation until the end. Muhammad did not even notice what he is saying of the surah, and he prostrate and all the Muslims uh, uh, who was there and the idol to protest too. Where let me connect. Let me connect you to my uh, Sheikh right now. Okay. Uh, okay. So he will explain this to you in detail. All right. And his name will be Abdul Wadud. So you 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 have. He's uh, a real he, sheikh, he, or he is uh, you know like a guy who opened a barber shop. Uh, again, you you, you l l l look at your language first. You no, know. I'm asking you. He's a real sheikh. I want to know. He's a real sheikh. Of course, he's a sheikh. Yeah. Okay, Abdul, Abdul Wadud, Wadud, Sheikh Abdul. Wadud. Welcome. Go ahead. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you uh, in ten minutes. Okay. All right. No problem. 